Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another cruise video. So this cruise video is a little different from the rest of the ones in the series. Mom and I just did 21 days on the Carnival Pride all over Europe. We went essentially from London, back to London, down to Italy. So we did two cruises back to backs going around the Baltic Sea and then down through the Bay of Biscay and into the Mediterranean Sea. And while I did an excursion video for every single port day to show you all of the fabulous cities and countries that we visited, the other part of a cruise is of course sea days. And if you've never taken a cruise before, sea days can be a little intimidating because you just don't know what to expect. You're on the ship for a long time. You don't know if you'll like being on the ship. You don't know if you'll get seasick on the ship. And of course, everybody's cruise experience is different, especially depending on what you like. Um, I love sea days. I want to take a cruise with half and half, mainly because when you go on a cruise, the ports are great and fabulous and you're going around and you're walking and you're seeing all the things. But the best part about a cruise is that then you get to go back to the ship and you get to take a break and you get to rest in between those port days. Whereas if you're just taking a regular vacation, like I've, I've done many times in either Europe or the US, wherever you're going, you feel the need to constantly be on, to be going somewhere, to be seeing something, and you feel like you get back and you need a vacation from your vacation. <laughs> How many times have you heard that phrase? So I decided instead of filming every single sea day, I would go ahead and film the majority of the things we did throughout the cruise. And then I would kind of put together a little sea day compilation, compilation, a little combo shot of all the fun things we do on a sea day. Now your sea day may look very different. I know friends who, you know, the, the casino can only be open on a cruise ship when it is in international waters. So if it's in a port, the casino is not open. The fun shops or the shopping on the ship is not open. All of these things that can be tax free or get away with like gambling can only happen when you're out to sea. They can't happen in a port. So a lot of people will spend their entire sea day in the casino. Like that's what they want to do. They love gambling and those sea days are a great opportunity to do that. Um, I'm not a huge gambler. On the other hand, I know, I know a gal who I love her to death, but she literally spends every single sea day in the spa, getting massages, getting facials, getting her hair done. She goes to dinner every evening with her hair completely up. Like it's beautiful. And if I had the money, honey, I would be there with her, but the, mas the massages, the spa, while they are fabulous, and I have gotten to go a few times like for my birthday when they send you coupons, uh, it's not something that I want to spend money on necessarily on the ship because I know I can get those things for more affordable rates back home. But again, if you have the funds to do that, that would be a great relaxing use of a sea day. On the other hand, there's lots of activities on sea days. So they want you to stay busy. They want you to go to the trivia. They want you to go to the game shows. They typically use their sea days to do their fun formal nights with the fun shows and the nice formal dinners. Steak and lobster night. I never miss a steak and lobster night. Filet mignon is the bomb on a ship. And of course, I only cruise Carnival, so this ship was Carnival. And it's not that I don't like the other cruise ships. It's just that that's what we cruise. Um, maybe one day we'll go on something else. So all that to be said, a lot of people do use sea days to relax, to sit by the pool, to go to the hot tub, to hit the serenity deck and get away from the kids. Or on the other hand, take their kids to the pool. Oftentimes there's movies on the deck where you can go watch a movie by the pool. Um, <laughs> they have often sea day brunches, especially on Carnival. They have like the cat in the hat brunches. Um, they have the chocolate extravaganza up in Lido where they just have chocolate for a whole hour everywhere. Like they have so much to do on a sea day. But here is my favorite way to spend a sea day is typically mom and I will get up and we will go to sea day brunch. Now, not everyone likes to go to the main restaurant. We like to go to the main restaurant mainly because mom doesn't like to carry her food around on Lido deck. I don't blame her. We both have um, balance issues, shall we say. 
So that, that Meniere's really gets you on a ship sometimes. So she likes to go to Sea Day Brunch. She likes to go and get her mimosas. And I like to get bacon, all the bacon that runs out on Lido Deck sometimes. But when you go to the Sea Day Brunch or to the main restaurant, it, they, they will always bring you bacon. So we go to Sea Day Brunch. We have a nice time. We sit by the window. We usually get a sharing table so we can talk with other people about how their cruise is going and what they're doing on the ship. And then we go back to the room and mom typically likes to relax. So as a typical mom, even though she's retired, can you ever be retired from being a mom? Um, her kids are out of the house. Obviously I am no longer living at home, have it for 10 plus years now. Regardless, she doesn't get a lot of time to relax. So her favorite thing to do on a sea date is to relax. She wants to read a book. She wants to watch a movie. Sometimes she'll take a nap. These aren't things she gets to do at home. And while she does that, I work. So that's not, that's the unglamorous part of cruise life. But for people like me who are a virtual um, worker, I vlog, obviously. Hi, y'all. You can see me vlogging right now. Um, I love to go on cruises. And the only way I can do that is because I can bring my work with me. So I can have fun on port days and on sea days. I can still continue to run my business. So in between the work and the relaxation, we also like to go to trivia. Mom likes to go to bingo. <laughs> and then typically at three, we go to tea. So tea on Carnival is not always advertised, but they have it on every sea day. If you're not sure, just go ask the major D and they will tell you all about tea time. But I don't even like tea. Mom goes for the tea and the friends and the talking. I go for all of the desserts. They have fabulous desserts and things to eat at the teas. And so from there, we will typically go back and get ready for formal night dinners. So we will go up to the main dining room. We like to get our picture taken. We like to, you know, watch the show and then we will go to the actual show. So typically on sea days, they will have their best shows. That way people aren't tired from port and they can actually go to the shows. They have a early show and a late show, like they have an early and a late dinner. So you can go to dinner and then directly to the show. We've seen a lot of the shows now, but they are always coming out with new ones. It just depends on if those new ones are on the ship you're going to be on. On this ship, since it was in Europe, there was several shows we hadn't seen before. So that was really nice because mom especially has cruised way more than I have. She's seen almost every single show. So it is nice to find a show that she hasn't seen. So we went to the show and then we typically will run downstairs or run upstairs or run across the ship and we will go to the Punchliner Comedy Club. Now the Punchliner Comedy Club has their comedians and typically they have three to four shows a night ranging from PG to R depending on what you're looking for. We like to go to the PG shows when I'm with mom, when I'm with my brother, sometimes we'll go to the rated R shows, but it just depends on what you want to do. I love all of the Punchliner shows. They are hilarious. I have only seen a couple that I really didn't like. They do usually a quick 30 minute set and they're usually very enjoyable and then they turn over to another comedian. So typically you can go and see one or two comedians a night before you move on. So from there, it just depends. Sometimes that's the end of mom's night and she goes to bed. If you go to the punchliner, that will usually get you till about 10 o'clock at night. If you're still looking for more to do, the clubs are open at this point and you can go dancing, you can go to the parties, you can go to the all night pizza shop up on Lido. <laughs> it will be busy, especially if you go right after a show or right after comedy, everybody has the same idea. Hmm, this comedy show is great, let's get some pizza. So there's the pizza place. It is the main place that is open 24 seven. The Lido Buffet closes down, I believe right at either nine or 10. And then the deli is the other shop that's usually open. It not 24 seven like pizza, but similarly. And then of course there's room service, but room service is additional. Whereas pizza included always free, always delicious. They make it fresh for you right there. You got to wait because they're swamped and they're working hard, but they do a great job of getting it out as quickly as they can. So it just depends on your goal. Sometimes after comedy, 
I'll go to a late night dive in movie if they have one that I want to see, or sometimes it is time to go work or hit the hay. One of the two. Either way, that's pretty much everything I do on a sea day. If you cruise a lot, I'd love to know if there's something you really enjoy that I've missed. Um, the other couple things we really like to do are to go hang out in the library. Um, oftentimes there's card games in there or we'll go to the piano bar, which is fabulous. If you're looking for somewhere a little less crowded than say one of the main shows, the piano bar is usually fabulous. Um, they also usually have a sports bar on board. So if you're looking for that game that you are missing back home, that's a great way to catch it. Um, trying to think of what else we do on sea days. We usually hit the pixels gallery. So, you know, carnival is huge on taking photos for everything. Get off the ship, take a photo, go to dinner, take a photo, walk the ship, take a photo. So we'll go check out our photos and see if there is anything we want to purchase. Um, and that, that's really about it that I can think of. So I hope you liked this video. If there's anything else I missed when you're on the ship, you can always check the Carnival Fun Hub and it will give you the entire itinerary. But this was just an overview of everything we like to do and specifically what we did on the Carnival Pride during all of our sea days. So I will see you in the next video. Bye.